A silver giant? What's with that giant? It's the pilot of the command ship. Take it under arrest. It's flying in the air. Why can't it fly? If it resists, shoot it. In the mythologies, God descended from the egg-shaped ship. Is that... God? Yes. What the hell? What is that guy doing? Its arms are starting to radiate! Is it armed? Manipulating light. Flying in the sky, as was told in the legends. What kind of weapon is that? Every alien that we've encountered was armed, except for this giant. How did it attack us? God. <sighs> that is God. God? That's a primer God for all I know. We don't need it. If it's in the command ship, it must be someone important. Maybe it's their ruler, like a king or emperor. Or it could be their military commander. Either way, this is going to be devastating to the Primers. It is a carrying weapon. What's going on? are still on the move. The motherships are indeed heading to this area. It's only a matter of time till they get the best of us. Initiate Operation Omega. What? Are you serious? You sure you want to do this? What is this all about? Please don't do this. Please! the secret to its weapon. What if it's not a weapon? What do you mean? Our scans show no traces of metal. It's power. Telekinesis is the only reasonable explanation. That's impossible. It's hard to believe, but this being is capable of creating energy at will. 
To be precise, it has the ability to transform thoughts into physical attacks. What? I don't believe it. We recognize thought as electric signals generated by our brain. The so-called superpowers are only a fantasy of ours, or should I say, a delusion. But if an intelligent life form evolves from thousands or even tens of thousands of years, maybe it can eventually reach that stage. That would be the peak of evolution for an organism, a life form which has reached its maximum potential. What does it take to evolve to such a degree? The process itself is beyond our imagination. Is anybody out there? Anybody? It's all or nothing. Looks like our last shot. All of you, hang in there, no matter what. I knew no one could have survived this. Oh, you think so, huh? Well, I can still put up a fight. The enemy commander's right before our eyes. No matter how many sacrifices we make in the future, we will never get this opportunity again. Understood. We've initiated Operation Omega. What do you mean by that? Humanity's last stand. We've deployed everyone into the fight to stop the motherships. But we've already sent in everyone we've got. Not all. We've given underground resistance the green light to attack. What? You're sending out civilians? What? From now on, every human is an EDF soldier. You want unequipped civilians to fight? Have you gone mad? It will buy us precious time. Everyone will die! You want to sacrifice the last remaining survivors for a bloody miracle? What's the point of saving our planet if there's no one left? This operation won't be in vain. No, no matter how great the cost, we... we must! Win! We must win! Damn it! create infinite energy. It's a creature superior to everything else. How? How can we defeat something like that? Heavily armed aliens. They must be his personal bodyguards. There's nothing we can throw at these aliens. Is, is this the end? Damn it! What's the point of destroying the command ship? If we cannot defeat that thing! If we let it get away, all our sacrifices will be for nothing! Please! We have to find a way! We've got nothing left. Time to die. What? How? Number of deployable units. Zero. It's over. No! 
Accept this truth. What? In God's name? We have a survivor! Not even Storm One can do anything about that monster. Yet, we should put our faith in Storm One and pray. Storm One, humanity's fate lies on your shoulders. Huh. <sighs> 